Now go ahead and raise your hand if you remember your favorite teacher when you were growing up. Obviously, I can't see if you're raising your hand, but I know we all had that one teacher who got us through things, opened our brain to learning. Uh, mine was actually Miss Donafi. For so many students at the School of the Arts, that teacher, no offense to all the other great teachers, is Ms. Reed. I, John J. Tecklenburg, Mayor of the City of Charleston, do hereby proclaim April 23rd of 2023 as Suzanne Reed Day in the City of Charleston. You know you've done something right in your life if you have your own day. This is fantastic. This fundraiser recently also a day to celebrate Suzanne Reed, who's calling it a career after teaching for nearly four decades. Love you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. My best friend ever. <laughs> Miss Reed has taught music to low country children at several different schools in Holly Hill, Moultrie Middle, Charleston Catholic, and for the last 15 years, School of the Arts. I do love what I do. I truly, truly believe that I can, not just me, but music can make such a difference in a child's life. Born and raised in Charleston, her love of music started with her grandmother, but teaching wasn't her first choice. Did you so, always want to teach? Wanted no, I wanted to play. I always liked teaching, and I knew I had a knack for it. I just really wanted to play. And um, that's the best thing that happened to me, was I got turned down, because otherwise I wouldn't have been teaching, and I love teaching. The kids certainly aren't complaining. Miss Reed's students have earned over $1 million in college scholarship money. The bands at School of the Arts have consistently earned superior and superior with distinction ratings in their constant performance assessment. But Miss Reed says it's about much more than just music. I feel like, especially since COVID, music has been the one thing that helps bring some sense of normalcy back to these kids' lives. Um, I really true in my heart believe that music is what can heal everybody. It's great. It's so much fun to watch them grow. And not just as a musician, but as people. And uh, I think I'm most proud of Miss Reed has fans. One of them knows good music when he hears it. Dean Felber from Hootie and the Blowfish has a son learning from her. She's been at that level her whole career. Uh, you know, that's the one thing I learned too, is like going back in history with the School of the Arts and even previous to that, all the bands she conducted ended up getting really good. And in a refreshing moment, hearing from students and what she has meant to them. She was the best teacher ever. I learned so much from her. I'm just gonna miss um, seeing her and being able to talk to her. She's a very good teacher. It's definitely gonna be different without her. She's an amazing teacher. She's been so kind. I'm gonna miss her because she was fun. She's just amazing. If that isn't enough, the band recently played at Carnegie Hall, one of only a handful of middle school bands to have ever done this. That was probably the most wonderful experience of my career um, as a teacher, as a conductor. It was like everything I've been telling these kids to do, they did it. Wow, it all it came was, together. It did. Better than I'd ever, ever hoped. Yeah. And so for me, I was like, I can die happy now. <laughs> and so I told that to a couple of the kids. They're like, no. And I said, well, I don't. Not literally. Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, that is such an amazing dedication to the children and a love of music. The School of the Arts Middle School Band has actually received the South Carolina Outstanding Performance Award every year since 2008. Now, if you have an everyday hero, email News 2's Brendan Clark at bclark at wcbd.com or hit the Everyday Heroes link on our website, countonto.com.